Hey there, welcome back to Simtech channel. So if you've got an LED driver uh, that has a PWM dimming or 0 to 10 volt uh, analog dimming support, in this quick demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can actually test it using a DC power supply. So stay tuned. Now, these LED driver, constant current drivers, normally the way they operate is that if it explicitly does not tell you that you can supply a 0 to 10 volt, like in this case, via these uh, connections here, then you cannot falsely uh, deem it if it doesn't explicitly say it can allow that. Otherwise, the constant current driver is going to detect your deeming activities almost like there is a problem. There is a fault, so it's going to go into protection mode. But now if it has a 0 to 10 volt deeming, then good for you. You can apply an analog voltage, 0 to 10 volt, and effectively control your LED light. Now, most LED driver, which are basically DC-DC converters, either a boost or a back converter, they've got controllers that are running at some frequencies, basically controlling, especially if it's working off a mains power supply like this, right? So, which means that particular controller will not allow you to do some funny activities like dimming on the output. Hence, you need a feature that enable you to dimming which is this particular LED driver has that feature. Now, just a quick notice before we carry on. This is very dangerous because I'm going to work with men's uh, power supply here, 230 volt, 50 hertz. So if you're not qualified to do this kind of stuff, don't do it. It's very dangerous. You can shock yourself. Okay. Now, having said that, I've got uh, an LED load here. This is a track light. And I've got my driver, this particular driver, like I said, support is 0 to 10 volt via this terminal. So I'm going to put my mains power. There you go. Now, as you can see, the light is fully on. Now, unfortunately, we cannot measure the input power being drawn from the mains. Now, this is rated about 40 watt. If we had a power meter, we could see that 40 watt. This is why in the next tutorial, I'm going to include an inline power meter, something that we can measure the power and see exactly how much we will be controlling the dimming. Otherwise, we should just observe the activity on the output, basically via the light. Great stuff. But before we move forward, if you find this quick demonstration useful, don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel that will be highly appreciated and also share it to your social media network now having said that i'm going to go ahead and connect my two probes that are basically coming from this array uh, bench power supply here okay so i'm going to connect the black on the dumb negative right there it says dumb negative and there is a dim positive or dim plus. So I'm going to connect the positive right there. Now, as soon as I do that, it detects a presence of a potential. And then it turns it off. Because the voltage right here is 0 volt. Although it's off, but it's detecting a ground level. So it's pulling it down. So effectively, there is a 0 volt analog voltage. Which is why the LED went off. If I disconnect, it comes back on. So let's go ahead and plug it back. Now, there is one more thing that you need to confirm with your LED driver. Whether you need to reference the ground or the negative of your power supply to the ground of your LED driver. Now, in this case, I don't have to do it. But if yours needs that reference, you just need to jump a wire uh, from the, the dumb negative here to the ground of your LED driver. Now let's go ahead and turn on the power supply. So let's start increasing. Okay, 300 millivolt. Okay, at 500 millivolt, we've got some light. So we're effectively controlling our LED light. There we go. You can see that there is an increase in the light level. Now, like I said earlier, if we had a power meter, we could measure the input power. Then we can see how much we are drawing now. 
it's going to start increasing until we're going to reach the maximum, which is about 40 watt for this particular uh, driver setup I've got here. Oops, there is a slight reset right there. So maybe I'm reaching some control point and the PWM analog dimming there is resetting. Now, if you know exactly what happened there, so let me just, there we go. The same happened when I move from 4 to below 4 volt. That happened. So let me know exactly what is happening, whether it's a driver control circuit, that analog uh, derming control circuit that's actually trying to reset itself. But anyway, we continue increasing. As you can see, the light is getting brighter and brighter. But make sure you don't go above 10 volt. Because if you go above 10 volt, you can actually damage the dimming control circuit, uh, that analog dimming control feature. So don't go above 10 volt. Now we can start going down. We can start going down. And as you can see, the light level is also decreasing. In the next tutorial, what I'm going to do is I've got a tutorial on my channel that actually demonstrate how you can do a 0 to 10 volt analog voltage control. Because right now we are doing this with a power supply. Now, what if we want to do it without a power supply? Now, we need to design or build a 0 to 10 volt uh, analog voltage control. Now, the one thing I like about this particular driver, there is a 12 volt uh, output voltage that is present here. So which means I can actually design a 0 to 10 volt analog uh, voltage using that particular 12 volt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of my own tutorial to design that 0 to 10 volt control, which actually use a PWM generator with an op amp uh, non-inverting mode to buffer the voltage and increase it from 0 to 10 volt. So I'm going to use a particular circuit use a 12 volt as a power supply and then feed it back into the 0 to 10 volt. So stay tuned for that. That will be very exciting. And once all is done, we can build it into this system. Then we don't have to use a power supply to control this light anymore. Then we're going to do another tutorial where we're going to take an ESP device, integrate it into the system so that we can do wireless dimming. Basically, we can control our light from wherever we are. So that is very exciting tutorial. So please make sure you hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for that tutorial. So if you have a similar setup you want to implement, you can actually follow as I go along and have the very same thing going on for yourself. So I'm going to design a small PCB that will have that analog dimming feature. We're going to add it on here and we're going to add another ESP device. Then we've got a combo that we can actually, basically an IoT uh, device that we can control our light from distance wirelessly. So that is it guys for this quick demonstration. I hope you found it useful. If it was indeed useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to SimTech channel. That will be highly appreciated. Until next time, cheers.